It's July 1969 and the world watches as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin take mankind's first steps onto the moon. Fast forward to 2018, however, and the internet is rife with conspiracy theories that claim the event was staged. What's more, such doubts are unlikely to die after an internet user spotted something strange about Armstrong's boots. But is the observation really evidence of arguably the boldest hoax in history? Apollo 11 launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center on July 16th of that momentous year. It took with it, of course, all the hopes of America desperate to beat the Soviet Union in the race to land a man on the moon. And four days later, the country celebrated as Armstrong and Aldrin, aided by fellow astronaut Michael Collins, stepped onto the lunar surface. America's mission was a success. The astronauts subsequently explored the surface of the moon, capturing images and taking samples of the lunar terrain. Then, after hoisting the American flag, the men began their perilous journey back to Earth. Thankfully, then, on July 24th, the mission's command module landed safely in the Pacific Ocean, and the event subsequently catapulted Armstrong and Aldrin to fame. But just seven years after Apollo 11's trailblazing flight, some people already began to express doubts surrounding the events of July 1969. Skeptics, moreover, believed that NASA's great success story was nothing more than an elaborate hoax. In 1976, Bill Casing published We Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 billion swindle, and in it he questioned whether the landings had actually taken place. Until 1963, the writer had worked for the Propulsion Field Laboratories head of technical publications at Rocketdyne. This was the company responsible for manufacturing engines used in the Apollo 11 launch. According to Casing, the probability of completing a successful moon landing is impossibly low. He theorized then that NASA had faked the landings, partly in order to convince the Soviet Union of its superiority. The author's credentials have been called into question, mind you, yet his book sparked a new breed of conspiracy theories that remain popular to this day. Over the years, many have expressed doubts and presented theories concerning Armstrong and Aldrin's trip to the moon. And in 1980, the Flat Earth Society put forth a particularly interesting take. The group claimed that NASA had staged the landings in a Hollywood studio with the famous director Stanley Kubrick at the helm. And surprisingly, perhaps, such theories have endured over the decades. A 1999 survey revealed that an estimated 6% of Americans believe the moon landings were a hoax. As for suggested motivations, they range from a desire to be seen to have won the space race to contemporaneous efforts to draw attention away from the Vietnam War. But is there really any evidence to prove such theories? Well, perhaps unexpectedly, there are a number of anomalies that skeptics point to in order to support their claims. For example, why does footage taken from the mission show an American flag blowing in what seems to be wind when there's no such weather pattern on the moon? By the same token, why were shadows from the astronauts and their equipment cast in different directions in photographs from the mission? Is this evidence that the landing was filmed in a studio, with the effect caused by artificial illumination? And separately, who filmed the astronauts blasting off the moon back into space? These anomalies are, though, relatively easy to explain away. For example, experts claim that the flag used on the moon was mounted on a horizontal rod thereby giving it the appearance of having caught in the wind. Furthermore, the lack of air resistance in the lunar atmosphere meant that the fabric would have taken a while to settle once moved. Shadows, meanwhile, can be made to appear warped by uneven surfaces and other conditions, which in turn could explain why some images of the moon landing seem to show a strange lighting effect. And as for the photographs of the men leaving the moon, the answer is perhaps the most prosaic of all. They could have been snapped by remote cameras that had been left behind when the astronauts returned to their ship. In fact, most conspiracy theories about the moon landings can be easily explained away. And yet there's one claim, discovered by fact-checking website Snopes in August 2016, that many have taken at face value. Apparently, one eagle-eyed observer noticed something strange about Neil Armstrong's boots. In 2015, Phil Plate, an astronomer based in Boulder, Colorado, snapped a shot of the spacesuit worn by Armstrong on his mission to the moon. The garment was being preserved at the National Air and Space Museum at the time. 
But when Plate posted the photographs to his Flickr account, one individual quickly pointed out an apparently glaring anomaly. Why does the tread on this boot differ from the famous footprint photo in the dust on the moon's surface? They wrote. And at first glance, they appeared to have an excellent point. In Plate's photograph, the boots of Armstrong's spacesuit can be clearly seen, and they definitely don't match up with the deep tread marks of the prints and snaps in the moon landings. But is this evidence of fakery on a huge scale? The answer is that it's not, and the discrepancy can be easily explained. According to Snopes, the footprint from the famous moon landing photographs doesn't even belong to Armstrong. Note the image was captured by Aldrin, who snapped his own print to document the surface's tensile strength. And an image shot by Armstrong as his colleague exited the lunar module backs up the claim. Aldrin is clearly shown wearing boots that match the imprint left behind. Still, not even this explanation is really needed to dispel any conspiratorial claims. As can be seen in images of Armstrong that were snapped during the moon landings, his own boots also match the prints shown in the photograph. You see, apparently both astronauts wore pairs of overshoes complete with the distinctive soles for extra protection. After asserting all the facts relating to this claim, then, Snopes has labeled the boots theory as false. However, this hasn't stopped the story from being repeated across the internet, even if it frequently comes with an amendment that acknowledges the truth. Armstrong's spacesuit is today still undergoing conservation work at the National Air and Space Museum. Meanwhile, despite plenty of evidence to the contrary, the idea of the moon landing hoax remains one of the world's most popular conspiracy theories. And in our current post-truth era, this seems unlikely to change anytime soon. Thank you.